After two and a half hours of a car trip from Addis Ababa to Mecca, we arrived at Kidana Mehret Catholic Cathedral. The church is one beautifully built modern structure that is adorned with sacred art. Mecca is a small town where you don't really observe many buildings or automobiles. The people of the town use horse carriages and three-wheeled auto rickshaws for transportation. We parked our car in the cathedral's compound, collected our equipment, and asked where we could find Sister Annie. She is the one who is in charge of the Mecca Girls Hostel. After we introduced ourselves to Sister Annie, she told us the Girls Hostel is in a different location. We got into our car and drove a five-minute distance on a cobblestone road and reached our destination. The gateway to the girls' hostel had grown long grasses. It was an indicator that cars don't go in or out as frequently. The girls opened the gate and looked out. They were curious to see who had come to visit them. The compound of the girls' hostel was tidy and well-maintained. We arrived at a time when the girls were back from school and were studying. We introduced ourselves. The girls were sociable. I was asking them what they wanted to be when they finished school. Hasset said she wanted to be a doctor, and another girl, Magartu, replied, well, God knows what the future holds. Demitu said she wanted to be a journalist. I had a nice conversation with them. The girls are amused by every conversation and have a fun outlook. A funny incident happened during our visit. There is a dog named Rocky at the girls' hostel. Rocky was tied to a branch of a tree. When the girls went out to play, Rocky was untied to join them. He was happy and running around. Hasid, who wanted to play with him but was also afraid, started running as Rocky approached her. Rocky, thinking she is running to play with him, rushed behind her. Everyone laughed as Hasid panicked and shouted while running. Some girls run after Rocky to stop it, and others run toward Hasid to calm her. I saw the girls hugging Hasid and telling her she was okay. I was able to see the girls' strong bond and how they treated each other as sisters.